Hi Leo, welcome to your March Singles New Love Tower reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. Leo, we're looking at Singles New Love. Take a little look at your energy, see what's going on for you and then we'll see who's coming in for you. Now, you may or may not know them but it's not about exes or someone you're in separation with, as it says, new love. So this could be a crush, someone maybe you're just newly, newly dating, getting to know. It could also be um, maybe someone you know, but never, ever been romantically involved with them, like uh, an acquaintance or a friend or an ex coworker, or I don't know, something like that. So we're going to see what's coming in for you, Leo. Singles new love for Leo. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, a general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And I guess if it comes out here that you do know this person, you can switch the energies around if you need to. Cross watchers as well. I guess if you're crushing on a Leo. All right, Leo. So let's see. I'm going to get some energy here. I'll see if it's your energy or something going on for you. Mostly, I'm going to look and see with this, um, like, what's going on in your energy. So, let's see. So, we have the Ten of Cups. An emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. Very happy, content energy here. In the Knight of Cups. Romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious. Falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. This could be, now that's like my, my courting, dating, getting to know card. That's my Knight of Cups. So this could be somebody you're just started dating, perhaps. Ace of Cups. Oh my God. If this is another cup card, I don't know. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Open your heart to love at the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one, the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. This could be like a new, we have new love right here, Ace of Cups. So this is someone new that I think you're dating or you've just met. And But we got the Ten of Cups right there. So feeling very happy and fulfilled with the connection with this person. If this is another cup card... Oh my God. Oh my God, Leo. I don't think I've ever had all four page of cups. That is crazy. Page of cups. Gentle, sensitive, kind, inexperienced. A new relationship or emotional experience. Invitations to social events. A compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. So maybe some of you have an invite here to something. It doesn't have to be, but the Page of Cups is like a romantic gesture, an invitation, uh, flirting. Leo, Ace of Cups. So some sort of flirting or um, invitation or romantic gesture here led it to this new beginning with someone I feel like you just met in your dating, Knight of Cups, getting to know them. And already feeling very happy, content, satisfied, fulfilled with the connection you're already having with this person. I've never gotten all cups like that. Wow. So we do have here uh, Scorpio and Pisces showing up. Could be signs in your chart. They could be a water sign. Leo. Wow. Now if you're like, I'm not dating anyone. This could be someone coming in here. Um, Aces sometimes can be a month. For me maybe within the next month 10 is a one as well so with the next month here leo if you haven't met this person already if you're not dating anyone wow i just have to say wow leo <laughs> all right so let's see so is this someone that okay i just want to get more clarity here um all right let's take a little deeper look at your energy first and see what's going on for you leo this time for leo see if we get any repeating cards five of swords hmm three of cups so another cup card ace of cups oh my gosh two ace of cups holy moly leo judgment here and the Hierophant in reversed. Some of you could be divorced. Um, doesn't have to be, though. But I feel like with the Five of Swords, I, you know, maybe you felt defeated, um, 
oh, I never felt lucky in love. I feel so defeated. I never have good luck or I felt feel like I have bad luck when it comes to love, romance, courting, dating, whatever here. But you have that brand new beginning in love coming in right here. Or maybe someone did your journey in the past, whatever here. But new love here that leads to courting, dating, some sort of new emotional, uh, romantic beginning gesture. Well, I say divorce because, I mean, we have the high written reverse. I can sometimes uh, be about divorce, but judgment here. So I think you're going to be like, hmm, I don't know. So a decision is going to have to be made here. And maybe there needs to be some healing, forgiving, releasing of past, I don't know, resentment or disappointment or heartache, pain, feeling defeated, stabbed in the back, let down, whatever that may be, because you have new love. Look at that. Ace of Cups twice, Three of Cups is another courting, dating, getting to know card for me as well. And life review, relationship review, you could have a past life connection coming in as well. So there's a call to action and you're going to have to be uh, clear on your feet here if you want to get to know this person because I see, I never had this before, Leo. I never had that before. There's, this is like a regular tarot deck here, but I call it a tarot oracle. So there's like 78 cards there and you got all the best cup cards you can have here. From the ace to the ten to the knight to the page to the knight to the ace to the ten. Wow. And you have the ace twice. Seven of swords. You may run out of fear. But there's something incoming here with the eight of wands and the hangman in reverse. So something is coming in quickly here. That's kind of what I feel. Now we have the knight of cups again, but it's in reverse. So, and look, and now a king of cups. Wow. So that's a Pisces energy. Three of Pentacles. Now, I don't know. This is someone maybe new you may meet at work or something like that. Sometimes at work, things aren't the best thing. Or you may see them or know them somehow, some way around maybe your work. Or maybe they are doing work on your on your building or your house or something like that. doesn't have to be. Or they could be someone that just works carpentry, uh, construction, or something like that. Let's see, we have Pisces showing up here, Scorpio again, Pisces again, Taurus, Scorpio, wow, all right, so Leo, so Leo, so the, I wanted to get some energy for you, so take that how it resonates for you, so has the majority of the Leos watching this, have they, have they already met this person, that's kind of what I want, what I want to ask here, is the majority has the majority of the Leos watching this have they already met this person or know them some way somehow let's see hangman in reverse hmm I would say yes yes let's see eight of wands you may even maybe seen them met them somehow during commuting traveling the world yeah, maybe even going on vacation or traveling or something like that seven of cups two of pentacles i definitely feel like here at leo a lot of back and forth energy because you feel like it may be an illusion here or something like that because it happens so suddenly um i feel for you um like all of a sudden there's this new cycle of the spring to beginning in love the world on the ace of cups and a lot of travel action movement here, according dating, getting to know. I feel a little stuck energy because you feel, feel like you've been beaten down or sabotaged when it came to re love and relationships in the past. But the hangman in reverse about taking action as well. So a little confusion here with judgment, like, hmm, I don't know what to do with this. Um, and a lot of back and forth energy. Oh, you have an emperor here, Leo. Yes, yes, yes. Aries energy here. This could be somebody who could be a business owner, entrepreneur, a leader, somebody somehow. They could be very, very mature. Just saying. Maybe a little older, but it doesn't have to be. Page of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Some of you, I think before you met this person, you had never, ever talked to them before. You had never knew, never knew them, never met them, never talked to them. You didn't even know them on social media. Nothing like that. It's like immediate here with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So this isn't anything that, um, yeah, clarity from source here with the Ace of Swords. Just let me shut that door. The cat just kind of barged in. So this is something that's just going to like barge 
into your life out of the blue. That's kind of what I feel here, Leo, if you have not met this person already. But if some of you, you're like, yeah, I just, I'm just, you know, maybe a month ago you've been on maybe a few dates, maybe two or three dates. Uh, and you're like, yeah, I met them a month ago. We've already been on two or three dates. Some of you, you know, clarity from source here, um, are getting ready to meet them within, I would say, a month. That is for sure. And there's a solid offer here. Someone's really going to want to court, date, get to know you, take you out, spend money. And it could be a sole contract here, Leo. We have justice here. Truth, clarity, justice, balance, universal law and order, things meant to be. Yeah, Knight of Swords, something happening uh, quickly out of the blue. So this is going to catch you off guard. This is just, you know, bam. Okay, Leo, here's a soul contract. Here's a soulmate. Here's a brand new beginning in love. Smack dab right there. Wow. And clarity from source right there. Successful to beginning. So let's see, we have Aries, uh, Aquarius. Let's see, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius again. Pisces, uh, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. All right, so I want to know a little more about this person. Um, see if that resonates for you to see, um, give you clarity on this person, their energy, their intentions. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. This is someone that's going to pussyfoot around. It's just fire. They're not going to like keep you waiting. Not with that Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Wands in the Two of Cups. In reverse, though. I feel like this person is single. I don't think they're attached to anybody right now with the Two of Cups reversed. They could have been married in the past. Um, the Four of Wands. Maybe you've both been married in the past as well. But I don't think they're attached to anybody right now. But this isn't someone that's going to keep you um, like hanging on or... Um, waiting or anything like that nine of wands this person's a warrior they don't give up easily and the star very healing energy here very hopeful optimistic healing uh balanced they could work in the community they could be very uh they could be even a public figure um in some way, shape, or form. Very people-oriented orient kind of person. A people person is kind of what I'm feeling. Very open. I feel like very easy to get along with. Um, not shy. This person is not shy. That is for sure. So let's see. We have Aquarius showing up here. Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. This look in the Emperor. Wow, it's showing up again. This person, is they persevere. They don't give up. They're a warrior as well. But they will take time to get to know you, time to see where this can go. They're not going to rush, but yet they're not going to keep you hanging or waiting or leave you on or anything like that at, at all. Because the Knight of Pentacles is very trustworthy, grounded, um, you know, very... Um, I can't, I'm like at a loss for, you're going to be at a loss for words because I don't even, can't, can't even get the words out here. Um, rounded, you know, they're just wise, practical, smart. That's kind of what I'm getting out, out here. Wow. So you have a Taurus Aries showing up again. Some of them could travel. I don't know. We have the Eight of Cups here. So maybe they travel or something for whatever they do. Maybe from time to time. I don't, I don't feel like this is something where they're always going to be away. Maybe from time to time they do have to travel for their work. Or for some of you, you may have met them through some sort of commuting, traveling, um, or something like that. All right. Leo. So let's see here. Let's get... Um, Two. Two are like time twos and threes are like time markers for me. Two to three. If some of you haven't met them yet, you definitely will meet them within the next um I, like I feel two to three weeks to a month. That's kind of what I'm feeling. But let's see what else we have here for you. Knight of Rods. Again, reverse. So hmm, okay. Magician. Nine of Cups. Somebody single. Sun in reverse, Leo. You may be worried, Queen of Cups. It's almost like 
here's the energy of falling in love with the queen of cups but the sun is like not having clarity like you may not be you may feel it's an illusion you may feel like it's not real that's not in reverse a lot not having the clarity of a mind to see its wish fulfillment happiness and joy in the new beginning is right here so you may mistake there they could be very very outgoing um boisterous maybe even and you may may, may mistake their energy as being like a player or very flirtatious or not serious but they're very serious because we have the knight of pentacles it's just they're very very and it may be different from you i mean a lot of leos you know they tend to be very you know outspoken and out there and you know not shy i'm a leo and i'm not like quite like that i'm kind of shy reserved i'm not like out there boisterous and you know whatever but um so i think that's more of a you know stereotype than anything else but anyway you, I feel like you may be hesitant here, Leo. Like worried, okay, what if they're not what they seem to... Look at all this energy over here, Leo. Oh my gosh. And this is you right here, Leo. Like in reverse, so you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to let myself fall in love or get to know this person. We did just see the King of Cups and now we have the Queen of Cups. Two people who are going to meet and fall in love. It's all right here. Let's see, we have Sag, Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Cancer. Knight of Pentacles. Again, someone very smart, practical, wise, Lear energy that's coming out again here. So Aries and Taurus showing up as well. So again, another one. Something within the next month here at Leo. All right, so what else do we need to know here for you, Leo? Let's take a deeper look at the energy of the two of you combined. I want to know that. For Leo. Whoever this is, that either you're just, just dating or you're going to meet them within the next month. King of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles. Knight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. So we have the Knight of Cups up there, but he's reversed here. Queen of Swords in reverse. Justice. Hmm. the moon in reverse so i think this person is going to make it very very clear because you may you may um be hesitant here at leo and you may kind of say no at first i'm kind of feeling that because we have the five of pentacles here and the king of pentacles in reverse i don't think this person is married but i see them a little hurt or feeling a little rejected by you because maybe you know queen of swords maybe you not you may not really give them a reason or whatever it's, it could be just very blunt and like no <laughs> okay but there's such a strong connection here i mean you have the ace of cups twice justice here is something meant to be here truth clarity justice balance universal law and order soul contract energy this person, I feel like they're going to want to, I mean, the moon in reverse is total illumination, enlightenment here. And they're willing to take their time. And look, this is a soulmate right here, the lovers. Page of Cups, that's twice with the Page of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, reverse those Six of Cups. This is not an offer from a past person, like an ex or anything like that, that maybe walked away from you. And you could be f feeling a little nostalgic about that like well what if this person you know leaves me but i don't think so leo this is someone that would be here to stay you know knight of pentacles and the lovers and the page of cups a very sincere energy as well so have pisces gemini taurus and pisces they're going to try to bring as much clarity to you as they can very open honest open vulnerable laying it all on the line here but i still get like maybe and maybe it could be them but i'm feeling like it may be on your part leo but obviously, if you're here watching, some of you definitely want to know what new is coming in. Virgo, Scorpio, Libra. Two cards of Libra here as well. So let's let's clarify that. Is this Leo being a little hesitant about this new connection? Is this Leo being a little hesitant about this new connection? Yes or no? Is it Leo... 
High Priestess. Doesn't want to tell me. <laughs> it's like, that's like, doesn't want to tell me. That's like a secret. Ten of Cups. It could be. It could very well be. But what you don't know, Leo, High Priestess is maybe something you don't know or don't see. A secretive kind of energy is being kept from you. The uni But the universe does want to tell you that you have the chance. Ten of Cups twice here. To have this Ten of Cups. As some of you, you have not met this person yet. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Where's the Queen of Cups? I thought we just seen her. Yeah, right here. King, Queen of Cups right here. And there you are, Leo. Very strong connection cannot be denied. Maybe even past lives together. Um, but there's going to be holding back, I feel, as well. Wow. Leo. So we have Pisces there, Leo. Pisces again. So, Leo, let's see. Let's see. Something within the next month here. And if you're just dating this person, you're definitely going to form a stronger bond in the next month. And it's kind of telling you to let down your guard and let this person in because I see nothing but great energy here, Leo. Ace of Cups twice, Ten of Cups twice. Wow, we saw the lovers. All right, Leo. Let's see here. Leo, what does Leo need to know? Within the next few months... So some of you, um, hmm. all right, I don't like how those flew out. Let's see. <clears throat> I want to ask what the next few months is. I felt a month, but that's too many. Let's see. For some of you, you have been dating them for a month, and it's going to get stronger within the next month. Um, it's also that, and for some of you, you're going to meet them within a month, and then it's going to get so... Some of you, you're going to meet them within the next month. For some of you, are already dating them. It's going to get stronger within the next month, so that would be a few months. Helpful people. Hmm. Maybe getting advice, guidance here. Or maybe this person, oh my gosh, um, is trying to get um, clarity from people around you. About you, maybe. Recovery. You both could have recovered, especially if you've both been divorced. And unlikely, huh? I'm just feeling like here, Leo, because what you may not be leaving, be believing is that they will not break your heart, but it's unlikely here that they're going to break your heart. Very healing connection, I feel, with re recovery as well let go. So you may need to let go of um, past energies, Leo. It's kind of what I'm feeling here because I see nothing but great things coming in. Wow. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there as well as a list of readings I do here. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning, but um, eight love readings I do. And next month, April, I'll be starting Twin Flame readings again um, for each sign. And if you like general readings, check my other channel, small channel. The link is below. I do generals over there, just two a month. So right now, your health, wealth, and destiny is out in March general messages so you can check those out so i'm wishing you the best leo and i shall see you next time